Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do like a get ready with me video. It's a really easy, quick summer look. It's pretty much been like my go-to when I just need to look put together but not have too much makeup on. But can we talk first about the elephant in the room? You guys, I am engaged. This is the first video that I am filming since it all went down. I'm sure by now you have seen my proposal video. If not, there will be links. Check my description box. I put those videos out yesterday, so I put the main proposal on this channel, and I've also started a vlog channel, so the behind the scenes is over there. Uh, my new channel is called Life with Trina. Again, I'll be sure to link everything for you guys. But I have not stopped smiling since I put that video out yesterday morning because your guys' messages have been so nice. Before I get a little bit too mushy, I just want to say thank you because there's no way I can respond to all of you guys, but seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys and it's just been amazing since it all happened. So I'm going to start this off by prepping my skin with this new moisturizer from Biotherm. I love this bottle. This color is amazing. Um, it's called Aquasource Ever Plump. And the reason why I really wanted to give this a go is because lately my favorite foundation to use is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. The only problem I have with it is obviously how drying it is. So I feel like I need something a little bit more hydrating and this is supposed to plump your skin which I thought would be amazing. I'm going to start with a little bit on the cheeks and it's very light. I actually thought it would be thicker. I actually like the feeling of this. This is supposed to plump, smooth, and moisturize your face, and it's good for all skin types. It has a very silky texture. It almost feels like you apply a moisturizer and primer in one, which I feel like will make your makeup go on a lot smoother. And it sets pretty quickly. You have the smell, you guys. I love the smell. I'm gonna bring some on my neck. So on top of that, I'm gonna apply one thin layer of the Makeup Forever Water Blend. And I just feel like this Number one I love because it's waterproof, but it adds a little bit of hydration back into the skin because it's water-based. So last time a lot of you guys freaked out at me that I used a sponge and I was like, you guys, it is personal preference however you prefer to put your makeup on. But for today, I will use a brush to start. I actually like it with a uh, sponge. I feel like it just does the job really quickly and it doesn't soak up too much product, but... And this foundation really isn't for coverage, it's more so just to smooth everything out and make everything look even. And I just feel like it's a really nice base if you're putting another foundation on top. Okay, so now over top of that, I'm going to apply a little bit of the L'Oreal Mattifying Foundation. And I don't know where this blemish came from, but it just does not want to go away. So we're just going to have to work with that today. I'm just going to apply most of the product to my cheeks because that's where my skin is the most uneven, and the chin. Then go back in with the sponge. And that's it, I feel like I have a pretty good base on. It's not too heavy, because I'll apply a little bit of concealer in a little bit, but to set this, just a very light application, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, and just kinda tap it onto the forehead, the areas where the oil tends to come through more. All right, now it's time for brows, because I do not like to do my makeup without having my brows on to frame my face. For this, I'm using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Pencil. The only flaw about this product is it doesn't have a spoolie on it. On the other end, it's a cream product to highlight on your brow bone. It's great, but I feel like um, I just, well, you have to use two products. So for this, I'm just going to brush them up with the SL Miss Glam Brow Spoolie. But I actually don't mind this pencil. I feel like the color really works for me. It's brunette. And I can make them really natural with this or super defined. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And this is, yeah, again, it's a little bit more bronzy. I'm going to be placing a gold over top. But this is more so just to prevent any creasing and, yeah, keep the shadow on there. I'm actually skipping eyeshadow and using a highlighter. This has literally been my go-to gold for the last little while. It's from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. It just makes me feel all glowy. So I just apply a little bit of that on top of the lid. Nothing special, just using a big fat blending brush and applying it over top of my base. And now for the crease, I'm going into my Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. 
And what I like to use is mousse because it's a matte brown but it's not too dark. And I don't want it to be an obvious brown in my crease. I more so want to use it for definition. So I'm just taking that with a dirty MAC. I always forget this number, 217. And I'm gonna place that in the crease. All right, now we need a little something on the brow bone. So I'm just gonna use this matte shade, pop that on. And that's pretty much it for the eyes, I'm serious. I really do keep it that simple. I almost feel like I went a little bit more today than I would on an average day. So my focus with this look is usually more so skin than anything else. So as long as that looks good, you really don't need much else going on. So I'm just gonna apply some of the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser underneath the eyes. And I feel like this acts as a corrector and a highlighter. And then I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, cause on days where just like basic concealer isn't cutting it for me, I have to go in with this cause this is full heavy duty. Last night was a late night. I haven't been getting much sleep. It's just been a crazy couple of weeks. So I just like to put this product where most of the darkness is that obviously the corrector didn't conceal and just add a little bit more. Now I gotta set this because this cannot move. I got places to be tonight, so I'm just gonna lightly set it. I love this brush, by the way. This is the SL Miss Glam Expert Face Brush number W10 because it's so big and fluffy and it just covers a bunch of space all at once. Now for bronzer, I cannot, I cannot live without my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I just bring it up onto the cheeks, temples, the hairline, and I do want to make my bronzers a little bit more glowy, bronzy today, so I'm going to use another one on top. And the second bronzer I like to use is the same one from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. It has like a gel texture, so it doesn't go on super crazy. It's more soft, like it's softer than it appears in the packaging, but I just feel like this gives you a little bit of that glowy look. Especially for this look, I cannot be without my Coralista blush from Benefit. I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques brush, the multitask brush, to the cheeks. It adds just like a little bit of peach and it has an iridescent glow to it. Now for highlighter, I think I will try a new one because this has been looking at me in the eyes since I got it and I just want to give it a try. It's the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. It has like a champagne goldy effect. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So pigmented. And this is a new drugstore brand. Well, new to me. I think it's just new to Canada. And I've never tried anything from the line before. The payoff of that is crazy. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I know. I already know I will overdo it. And I had to go out in the daytime today, so that will not be cute. And I'm going back to the Makeup Forever Gold. And I'll just run some here. I really don't want to look like a disco ball or anything, but I want to look glowy. And my go-to look has pretty much just been this, where I'll just tap it all over. Above the lip always looks nice. And I think I'm going to do it. I've been contemplating lashes since I started, but I'm going to give these really subtle, subtle pair a try. It's the Red Cherry S47S. And for the lower lash line, I don't want to do too much. I'll probably just run a little bit of this bronzer with a pencil brush just along the lash line down there. And then finish it with some mascara. Now to finish off this whole look, you already know Kevin Aquan Lip Liner in Medium to lightly line my lips. Normally I do like a really red lip with this. The uh, spicy Anastasia liquid lipstick, I love that for this look, but because I'm gonna be wearing a shirt that's a little bit, I think it's like army color, I'm gonna try more of an orangey red. And this is a new product from Makeup Forever as well. This is called Artist Acrylic Liquid Stain in number 932. This color is kind of the bomb. And now I'm gonna use this Corally Artist Lip Balm Lip Shine in number 930 over top, just to tone it down a little bit. I like that. I gotta quickly do my hair now because I was supposed to leave like 
an hour ago. And now, especially because I took a straightening iron through it, it's a little bit flat, and I do not like my hair to be flat, so I'm going to use this. I've been using this a lot lately. I more so love the smell of it than I actually do the product. Not that it's a bad product, I just I love the smell. It's uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name. I'll just show you the bottle. It's the Biotin Volume Dry Shampoo. I just like to kind of spray it at the root. You can kind of see, actually no you can't, but sometimes this leaves a little bit of white residue which I'm not crazy about. Do a little hairspray and for this I'm also using that same line and it's the Biotin Volume Hairspray. This also smells amazing. And then I'm going to use this elastic band that is on my arm. By the way, okay, my friend Teresa gave this to me. I think she got it at a beauty supply store. You can get them at Sephora too, but this is like my favorite hair tie. I never leave home without it. And then I give it a tug and then just kind of loosen it up to how I like it. And to be honest, it's not perfect, but for some reason getting a ponytail perfect is like the hardest thing. Um, and it seems so simple, but I'm just going to leave it like that because I just don't have time. Do a little hairspray, set it in place. And that is my completed summer go-to look right now. I just love the bronzy, glowy looking skin and then the pop of color on the lips, which again, you guys, I cannot get over these like this color combo. I am in love. And I will make sure to leave everything that I use in the description box as always. And if you guys like this look, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new so you don't miss any new videos. Go check out my new vlog channel, Life with Trina. I'll make sure to do all the links down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, so, so late right now, but I wanted to show you my outfit. I have on a bodysuit from Fashion Nova, and I kind of opted away from the army just because I feel like I wanted to be a little bit more summery with my makeup, so I threw this on. And I have on some just black pants from Aritzia, and I got my gold purse from Evernew, and that is it. I hope you guys like this video. See you in the next one. Bye, I'm so late.